welcome back to my channel. My name is Wolo and um, I'm wearing red today, but today is not Valentine's Day. Yesterday was Valentine, 14th of February, and nobody sent me Happy Valentine's Day. I think it was just one person that sent me Happy Valentine's Day. I don't celebrate Valentine, don't mind me. I know it's a season of love and all that, but I show love every day, so I don't see why I should use one special day to show love. And I want to also thank you for showing me love all through this period. I appreciate all of you. So happy Valentine's Day to you in areas because it is already past. But I will continue to show you love by giving you free content. Um, instead of you paying for it, I'm giving you free content. So I'm also showing you love. So my name is Wolo. And if this is the first time you are seeing me, I want to say thank you. I request that you subscribe to this channel. Click on the notification bell and anytime I upload a video, you'll be the first to know. I live in Manitoba, Canada. It is one of the coldest places in Canada and I share videos about life in Canada, immigrating to Canada and anything that's going to be beneficial to anybody coming to Canada. So if you have any questions, you can actually scroll through all the videos I have done so far. And if you don't find any video relating to your question, then you can send me an email. I'll be leaving the email on the description box of this video. Today's topic is um, an update on one of the communities that has been chosen for the rural and northern immigration pilot, and that is Clashom in Alberta. And Clashom is funny enough, one very tiny community of about 3,780 persons, just 3,780 persons in Clashom. Now, there are actually some surrounding communities as well um, that will be participating in that pilot with Clashom, but I think the population is so tiny. Anyway, and um, they have an immigrant population that is growing of about 200 families um, from Asian and European background, so it's a growing population. And their major industry or employment sectors are healthcare, construction, retail, public administration, and education. And um, Clashop is actually one hour, 26 minutes drive to Calgary. Calgary is one of the cities in Alberta. The capital of Alberta is admitting not Calgary, so don't mix it up there. Anyway, so that's, um, those are the basic facts about Clashop. Now, the thing is that they will be giving only 20 recommendations for this year, 2020, and um, they are trying to increase their population gradually. So instead of bringing in 100 families, they just want to take it gradually, and it's only 20 community recommendations that will be given to people who have a valid job offer from that community. Now, the portal to apply for jobs will open up on the 21st of February this year. So I am actually updating you so that you can quickly create a profile and wait for when they start posting job opportunities in that area. And if you find a job that is suitable to your occupation, you can then apply. Of course, you have to meet the federal government of Canada um, IRCC requirements, eligibility requirements for you to apply to Clashom to get a job offer and then you get a community recommendation and I'll be showing you shortly on the website what you should be doing um, in terms of searching for a job and after that what you should do once you get a community um, offer and how you can apply for your um, permanent residence visa um, using the rural and northern immigration pilot. It's a paper um, processing so you don't need to create anything like express entry account if you already have an express entry account it's okay but this is a paper application so it it is not related at all there is no way you can link the two you just have to submit fill some papers and then ship it through Korea for your permanent resident visa application this is the government of Canada website www w.canada.ca where you find details of rural and northern immigration pilot i'll be leaving the link on the description box of this video to get started you need to meet the eligibility requirements before you can apply for the ronip you must have a qualifying work experience or must have graduated from a publicly funded post-secondary institution in the recommending community Secondly, you must meet or exceed the language requirements. Language requirements is you writing IALTS exam or the CELPIP or TCF or TAF, um, any of the exams 
and at least have a band four um, on all the factors if you have a higher point on your IELTS or the cell pip or the TCF or TAF it's even better for you compared to just having the minimum scores and then you also need to meet the educational requirements which means you have to evaluate your credentials either by using WES or ICAS or ICES any of the evaluating bodies it is very important and necessary and then the next requirement is that you must have enough money to support yourself now the proof of funds for rnip is slightly higher than the one for aipp and also lower than the one for express entry so this is where you find details of the proof of funds i'll be leaving the link on the description box of this video you can see that for one person it is 8722 and it is slightly higher than AIPP and lower than the amount for Federal Express entry. And the next requirement is to meet the community specific requirements. So uh, each community have their own requirements and um, you have to go to each community's website to know what their requirements are before you can get a community recommendation. And after you must have gotten a community recommendation, you can also then apply for a work permit and apply for a permanent resident status. So this is the website for Clashum.ca. Um, it is www.clashum.ca. Take your time to read through the information that has been published here. And it is saying during 2020, with the advantage of the RNIP, the Clashum Economic Development Committee will recommend up to 20 people and their families to become permanent residents of Clashum, Alberta, Canada. So it means the recommendation is only for 20 persons. And, and the RNIP portal is now live. Um, it was updated February 14, 2020. And there are no job postings for now, but job postings will be available as from February 21, 2020. So if you read below you see all job opportunities are available to locals first locals should apply in person only and then all immigrant applications must go through the classroom rnip employment portal a maximum of 20 recommendations will be issued during the first year of the three-year program if you scroll down this is where you find information for foreign skilled workers and once you click on that, it will take you to where you can click on the Clashum RNIP portal. Once you do that, it will take you to the page where they're supposed to be posting jobs, but there are no jobs available at this time. You can see the information there. So you have to create a candidate profile. And then on the 21st of February, come back to this web page and see which jobs have been posted on this website when you have completed your application and you get a successful job offer and a community recommendation you go back to the government of canada web page and find information on how you can apply for permanent residence you can read the instruction guide imm0118 for more details if you get an offer from outside of canada the employer must fill this form which is the IMM 5984 and then when you scroll down these are all the forms that the principal applicant must complete to um, submit the application for permanent residence under the rural and northern immigration pilot so these forms are necessary because um, without these forms if you don't complete them and provide the necessary documentation your application might be sent back to you once you've completed the forms um, you send your application if you scroll down you'll find details of where to send your application to which is immigration refugees and citizenship canada rural and northern immigration pilot program centralized intake office po box 1500 sydney nova scotia and then you have the postal code there and then canada you can also apply for work permit for details of how to apply for work permit you click on the next button it's going to tell you how you can apply for work permit. Um, work permit is faster to process while um, the PR is actually a one year process. So your employer will be waiting for you in Canada. So it is important to apply for a work permit and then come to Canada while you're working. Your permanent resident status application will be ongoing. 
So thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.